I just press record and my dog is squeaking his fucking squeaking toy. I know he's really enjoying himself, so like, I don't want to stop him. But there's no way that you guys want to listen to that. I don't want to listen to that either. Hey bros, what's up? Thank you for clicking on my video. I'm back with another thrift haul today. I have a bunch of these under the belt that I need to catch up on. And generally I do things like, this is what I got first half of this month. This is what I got second half of this month. And what I'm showing you today is stuff that I got in the first half of October. And today is the 17th of November. <laughs> I feel like with this particular haul, I've reached a point of my thrifting evolution where I'm finding really good wardrobe staples. I'm at the point of not just getting something because it's cool and for the sake of getting it, I want to get something that's going to integrate really, really well into my wardrobe and I can wear a lot and wear with a lot of things. Okay, so I'm excited. On this first trip, on this first day, these things are all fire, okay. I've already worn this quite a bit on my channel. It is this black halter top from Esprit with pink flower embroidery. I love halter tops. I love like an exposed back, but this isn't even like a fully exposed back. It's just like a half, <laughs> half an exposed back. And then another thing that I love about this is that it has the built-in, I don't know if I'm doing a good job of showing you, but it's got the built-in crop layer. This with low-waisted jeans has been an absolute go-to for me. Oh, and this was $6. Okay, next from this particular place, on this particular day, I got this khaki midi skirt. I really, really like the buttons that are khaki, but with like a white staining in the middle. I love this little pocket. Like, it's just so crazy to me that there was a time in the world where it was just a universal thing to build lighter pockets into clothing. Like, it's kind of mind blowing to me. <laughs> I like the length of it. I like the little split at the back. And this is, guys, can you believe it? This is OG Target. Uh, I'm not mad about it. This cost me $2. Can you believe it? It was marked as six and whatever colored tags it was, like let's just say it was yellow tags because I don't remember. I think it was yellow tags actually. Yellow tags in salvos this day were $2. This with like halter tops and like boob tubes is my summer vibe right now. It's not even summer. Oh my God, it's happening again. There's an eagle outside. <gasps> There's an eagle outside my window again and like he was like doing the fucking circles and then he did like the choo, like he he did a dive <laughs> So he was like catching something Whoa, okay next I got this black puffer vest Which also had a yellow tag which means it was also two dollars and I'm really like putting the blinders up right now when I'm in the thrift store, not looking at winter clothing. Like I don't want to buy things that I'm not going to wear for at least another six months. And like, even though there's probably cool things in there, I just realistically don't have the room to be doing that. But I was looking through the, the rack of the yellow tags, the $2 items, saw this. Puffer items are generally quite fancy. So I felt like $2 was too good. And when I tried it on, it looked cute. It has a hood. It's fleecy on the inside. I didn't realize when I tried it on because like nine times out of 10, the change rooms in Salvos are literally so dark and then like you can't really see what you look like that well. But it has this monogram on the fabric that says one which i'm guessing is the brand um the tag is completely faded so i cannot confirm and it also has a one on the zipper i did wear this on the night that i went out on the halloween weekend and i didn't dress up because i went to a gig i went to see mine design and i was like there's gonna be swaggy boys at this gig and if i'm dressed as fucking Alice in Wonderland. They're not gonna know how swaggy I am. So I dressed cute and the only boy that spoke to me that night asked me what I was dressed as, what my costume was. And I was like, 
this is just what I wear. So yeah. <laughs> the final thing I got from this place on this day is this little black baby tee. It has a v-neck. I'm generally not a v-neck gal, but something about the v-neck and the capped sleeves and the fit of this just really sold me. I feel like it's not often that I come across baby tees that like fit me well. This was $6 and the brand is Just Jeans which all of us Australians know. Also guys, I just want you to know that I really do be trying to like lint roll these things. <laughs> I'll watch back the try on clips of me in like these black pieces and see how fluffy they look. So I'm sorry about that. I am trying. <laughs> Next, this was a different place on a different day. Firstly, I got this green little singlet that I'm wearing right now. This cost me $3. It's kind of like a knitted construction and it has these little, little open seams here. The back is plain and I like that I can like wear it either way. Like I can have the plain front or like the slits on the front. It's just a nice little elevated basic for the warmer weather, you know? And the other thing that I got from this place on this day is this black midi dress. I guess it's a slip. I just feel like this is like an ultimate date night dress, but also like on a date, I wanna feel like uber confident and I don't feel overly confident in this because I don't really wear things like this. Like I'm not really a bodycon gal. So maybe it's more like a date with the gals dress, not like a date I'm trying to impress someone date. It doesn't have a tag. I don't think. Oh, it does have a tag. Oh, the tag is completely faded once again. So this has been well loved. It fits nicely. I feel like I don't often come across dresses that fit my body well. And I like how it has like a somewhat like scallopy hem. That's probably my favorite aspect of it. This might sound so silly that this is like potentially my favorite thing of the entire haul, but I did speak, I was wearing this in my last video and I did speak about how much I love it. This baby pink ribbed singlet. The, I don't know how I like managed to score another thing that has the built-in crop under it so I don't have to wear anything under it. The tag of this is also faded so I can't give you a brand. I'm very sorry. Oh shit. It's very, very, very faded. But this is from Peter Alexander. I don't know if the camera is picking that up. So this may be pajamas. I'm not sure. All I know is that it fits me great and it, I like it. <laughs> and this was $2. I got it from a spot of mine where all the clothes are $2. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> From this same place on this same day, I got these brown. Oh, upside down. Oh, not upside down. Billabong gloves. <laughs> this looks so funny with this little top. You guys already know if you watch my videos that I've been on an absolute billabong kick. When I saw these for $1, I couldn't pass it up even though I won't be wearing these until winter next year. That's fine. I actually had seen these at this particular store and passed them up. And then when I went back the next time, I went to check if they were still there and they were. For $1, it's basically free. Finally, this is not clothing, but I did get at this particular place on this particular day. So I thought, why not just chuck him in? I got this little desk lamp for $2. It's USB, so it plugs into my computer. The base of it is a computer mouse. So you click one side to turn it on, click the other side to turn it off. And the reason that I was drawn to this is I really, really enjoy the late 90s, early 2000s tech that Apple did of this spec with like the clear colored plastic. I think maybe in like 2001, my dad had an Apple desktop computer of that spec of this exact blue. I've kind of been considering getting a desktop to do my computer work on because I'm like working on like a tiny little 13 inch screen in Premiere Pro 
like squinting my eyeballs out and I was thinking maybe I should get a bigger screen for my eyeball health and then I've been looking on Gumtree and eBay at the old Mac I think they're called Mac G3s Mac generation threes because how cool would that be if I had the desktop computer with this with it are you kidding me the thing is it's kind of defeating the purpose of getting a bigger computer screen to do my work and help my eyeballs because the screens of those computers have like three pixels so <laughs> i wouldn't be doing a good job doing my work on it at all <laughs> that's everything for today as you can see on my price list that i keep i have a lot more in the next few weeks to get through so don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up on this little thrifting journey with me. I would love to know what you liked the most if you want to leave a comment down below and let me know. And I'll see you next time. Mwah! Table.